How's it going everybody? I just want to make this short video. This is a uh, 100 rounds of 10 millimeter that I loaded for a friend of mine. 180 grain XTP hollow points. And this box right here weighs an estimated of four pounds. Um, so it's just kind of a have an expectation of if something happens, what kind of ammo weapons you can carry. As I said, this is a hundred rounds um, of 10 millimeter, 180 grain. So just think if you're gonna have to carry a larger caliber, uh, it's gonna be even heavier. If you're using heavier grain bullets, like say maybe 4570, uh, 44 mag, uh, 500 magnum, uh, large, you know, I said these, I weighed these and I took a five pound weight cause I had to put it on the scale with me cause it wouldn't register. But this is give or take a few ounces, probably about four pounds for a hundred rounds. So if you multiply that 10 times for a thousand rounds, that's going to be 40 pounds or somewhere around 40 pounds guys. So this is handgun ammo, so if you're also going to have a rifle, rifle, uh, you got to carry the weight of your handgun, got to carry the weight of your rifle. Uh, a thousand rounds of this is 40 pounds, so whatever rifle you're carrying, if you're going, you know, if you think, well, I'm going to carry a thousand rounds of that, however much that's going to carry, plus you got to have water, you got to have some food. So th this this weight adds up, guys. I just wanted to make this video, just a short video on this and how, I mean, people don't think about this. They get all this ammo, and it's great when you're at home, uh, but if you have to go out on foot, you only can carry so much ammo with you. Only so much because of the weight issue. Uh, now, if there's several of you, you can kind of distribute the ammo between you and kind of take off the weight, but... Still, ammo, it, it adds up. Uh, this is a lot of the reasons why, um, you know, carrying small calibers like the two two three five five six, uh, twenty two caliber long rifle, stuff like that, uh, you can carry a lot more of it with less weight because the more grains it is, the weight adds up. So I just kind of want to make this video, just a short video on... Uh, just kind of of seeing, you know, people's expectations. Because a lot of people don't understand. If you've ever been in the military, I've been in the military. Uh, after walking 10, 15, 20 miles, uh, a couple pounds start to get heavy. Your, you know, seven-pound rifle starts to get heavy. Uh, plus, you know, you got water on you. And like I said, your backpack's got food and uh, other stuff you got to have. So, you know, batteries, flashlights stuff like that so you might want to think about these things guys um just kind of have it in the back of your head where if something does happen um and you do have to bug out or you have to go somewhere on foot how much weight can you actually carry because it does add up like i said this is 100 rounds at four pounds 10 times that which is a thousand rounds gonna be somewhere around 40 pounds just in handgun ammo and nothing else so the weight does add up all right guys i just thought i'd bring this to you because i um i loaded i loaded this for him saturday uh, i gotta take it to him i loaded me some also but uh i loaded me some 155 grains these are 180 but they're uh, both xtp but uh i use starline brass but y'all have a good week and uh, appreciate, you know, whoever watches my videos and uh, uh, just have a good week, guys. I know things are getting crazy out there. Everything going on. It's getting rough. Hopefully we can weather the storm with everything going on with our government and everything. But all we can do is uh, kind of go with the flow until something happens. And hopefully nothing bad happens. Everything turns out good, but it don't it doesn't look like it's it's headed that way. 
But all right, guys, that's it. Have a good week.